How to write a defect or a bug report for software testing? Have you ever encountered a bug while testing software? In this video, we will demystify the process of documenting bugs and defects. Key points we will cover are test steps in software testing, test planning, the significance of thorough planning before testing, defect or bug reporting, bug versus defect, clarifying the difference between these terms, bug or defect documentation using JIRA or other bug reporting tools, then bug types and how to attach a screenshot to your bug report and its importance. Let's quickly go through the process of test plan before writing a bug or or defect report. As we know, test process has three main steps as I explained in one of my previous video. You may find it in the link below. The first step is test planning, then test designing. That includes adding them into different test suites for managing our test cases nicely and then executing the tests, right? Let me explain a little more about the test steps. First, planning. In this phase, we define the scope, objectives and potential risks of testing. We allocate necessary resources such as the test environment and create a schedule for the testing activities. Think of test planning as setting the roadmap for our testing journey. After planning for our project, we move on to the next phases like test case design or management. In this phase, we create or manage our test cases. These test cases outline the specific scenarios we want to test. Next, test execution. We execute these test cases by running them against the software or system under test. Then, comparison. We compare the actual results obtained during test execution with the expected results specified in the test cases. If there is a discrepancy, actual result doesn't match the expected result, we mark the test case as failed. Next is defect reporting. When a test case fails, we write up a defect report. This report includes details about the issue encountered. Then comes the assignment. Then we assign the defect report to either the developer for fixing or another senior tester for further investigation. Right? So, the bug report or the defect report are the same. In simpler terms, a bug report or defect report serves as a document that describes the details of a problem that is defect in software. It includes information about when and how the issue occurred, what caused it and its current status. I will quickly show you how to document a defect or a bug in Jira. Since I have already created an account and I am already inside the tool ready to create a bug in an existing project, I will simply click on create. From down below, I will choose issue type that is I am choosing bug. Suppose the bug is in process, I will choose the status of the bug in progress. Then comes the summary. Here I will write the bug title. Say for example, when clicking the login on the home page, nothing happens. Right? Next is description. Here we must write the steps to reproduce the bug, the expected results and the actual results. In the description, we will mention the issue. That is, when a user clicks the login button on the home page, no response or action occurs. Then, steps to reproduce. Navigate to the website's home page, click the login button, observe that no action occurs. Then, expected result should be that when clicking the login button, it should initiate the login process. And observed behavior is login button does not respond. Next, scroll down below and you may enter the other details like who you want to assign it. Like for example, to the developers or other senior testers or any other team members, right? Right now, it is auto set and assigning it to me. Scroll down below and you see you can browse and add the screenshots from your computer. Next, from below, you may check mark and create another issue. If not, then just click and create this issue and you may view your created issue after that. Click here on view issue. The issue that you documented is saved. 
let's talk about the bug report or the defect report so when we test a software we find bugs or defects right so when we write a bug report or say a defect report we first write down the title of the bug or the defect that is found for example say if the defect is found in the registration section of the page then you must write registration page like that in the title section of the column and in the description you will write about where exactly the bug or the defect is found right like for example in the title section we can write registration page incorrect checkbox behavior and in the description detail where exactly the bug occurs mention the steps to reproduce it expected behavior and actual observed behavior include relevant screenshots or logs if available right when testing software we often encounter issues that affect the functionality or behavior of the application these issues are commonly referred to as bugs or defects while the terms are sometimes used interchangeably they have distinct meanings like bug a bug is an unexpected behavior or deviation from the expected functionality of the software it can manifest as functional behavioral or cosmetic problems bugs can cause malfunctions, impact user experience, or lead to incorrect results. Examples of different types of bugs include Functional bug Users cannot log in to a website or the search option is not working. Cosmetic bug Issues related to screen alignments, section divisions, string truncations, or text color. Performance bug slow loading screens or sluggish navigation within the application compatibility bug inconsistent behavior across different operating systems or browsers defect a defect is a broader term that encompasses any issue in the software including bugs it can extend beyond coding errors to include problems related to design, requirements, documentation, or any aspect of the software development process. A defect does not necessarily mean there is a bug in the code. It could be a function that was not implemented as defined in the requirements. Defects can arise due to miscommunication, misunderstanding of requirements or changes in the environment. Now, let's discuss how to create effective bug reports and defect reports. Bug report Title, start by providing a concise title that describes the specific bug. For example, registration page, incorrect checkbox behavior. In the description, detail where exactly the bug occurs. Mention the steps to reproduce it, expected behavior and actual observed behavior. Include relevant screenshots or logs if available. Suppose the bug report is about an issue with login page. So you have to write the bug or the defect ID that is for example 12345. Then the bug title unable to log in using valid credentials. Then you have to write the environment for example browser Google Chrome version number right. Then operating system for example Windows 10. Then severity high priority medium. Then the description. When attempting to log into the application using valid credentials, users encounter an error message and are unable to proceed. This issue affects both new and existing users. Then steps to reproduce. Open the application in Google Chrome. Then navigate to the login page. Enter valid username and password and then click the login button. Then expected behavior, the user should be successfully logged in and redirected to the dashboard. Actual behavior, an error message appears, invalid credentials, please check your username and password. Additional information, the issue occurs consistently. Clearing browser cache and cookies does not resolve the problems. Other features of the application, for example, registration, password, reset, work as expected. And then you can finally upload the screenshots. Defect report. Title. Similar to a bug report, the title should reflect the defect's nature. For instance, missing functionality in registration section. Description. Describe the defect comprehensively. 
highlight any discrepancies between the software's behavior and the specified requirements. Remember, both bug reports and defect reports play a crucial role in maintaining software quality and ensuring a seamless user experience. Let's create an example of a defect report for a functional web application. Imagine that you are testing a user registration feature and you have identified an issue. Here is how you might write a defect report. Title, registration page, incorrect error message for invalid email format. In the description, I'm going to write steps to reproduce. First, navigate to the registration page. Second, enter an invalid email address, for example, user at the rate domain. Third, click the submit button. Then the expected result is that the system should display an error message indicating that the email format is invalid. And observed result, instead of the expected error message, the system displays a generic error like an error occurred. Please try again later. Then add the screenshots if available. Attach screenshot showing the error message. Additional details, browser, Google Chrome, then the version number, then operating system, suppose Windows 10, device, desktop, then severity, medium. Users cannot proceed with registration due to the misleading error message. Then priority. Priority is high. For example, critical for user experience. Then environment. Development environment, staging server. Notes. The error message should clearly state that the email format is invalid. The issue affects both new registrations and updates to existing Profiles. Now let's talk something important about the screenshot. Let's say if the defect is static. When we say something is static, it means that there are no dynamic or changing elements involved. In the context of a defect, a static defect refers to an issue that occurs without any animations, movements or dynamic behavior to demonstrate its occurrence. Essentially, it's a problem that remains constant and doesn't rely on any interactive elements, right? Use the built-in screenshot functionality of your operating system, for example, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, to capture the static defect. Remember to provide clear context and annotations when attaching the screenshot to your defect report. Also, one more important thing is that if adding a screenshot, it should be full screen and the top URL of the page should be visible. There are actually many types of defects. Here I'm talking about performance defect. These are the issues that impact how well a software application performs. Slow loading times, memory leaks and bottlenecks. They are the points where everything gets congested, affecting overall performance. All fall into this category. For example, loading errors. Let's say when a page, website or app takes too long to load more than 10 seconds even with a high-speed internet connection, it's a loading error, right? Adding a screenshot is a great idea because it helps developers or the senior testers understand the exact issue and reproduce it. In order to keep my video short, I will continue discussing the bug or the defect reports, priority and severity in my next video. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.